Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to Let's Try Moonglow Bay. This game was just released, and I read the description, I knew right away I had to at least give this bad boy a try. It is set in the 1980s on the east coast of Canada in a small fishing town, and it looks like it is a game about going out on a boat and doing some fishing and maybe a little bit of life sim, and it looks very zen and very calm, except at some point, watching the uh, gameplay trailer, things seem to turn very dark and freaky at some point. So I don't know um, exactly, you know, is this game really just going to be messing with assumptions, or is it really just going to be a very fun little fishing simulator? We'll see. Um, it is, uh, I am playing it on the PC, however, this clearly seems to be a game that uh, was targeted at consoles because it doesn't uh, doesn't seem to support the mouse and the keyboard inputs are like not what I would expect because it's WASD to move around and then spacebar to confirm and backspace to go back, which seems to be very typical mappings for, um, for sort of controllers on a keyboard in a lot of these games. Uh, there are quite a few of options that we can mess around with as well, but yeah, as far as I could tell, um, oops, didn't mean to change languages here. I want to try to tab through the things at the top, but I don't know. I guess we'll just do that. I, it looks like there's tabs at the top of the book, but I guess not. So anyway, I haven't played this at all. I am using this uh, with an Xbox controller here on PC, because if it seems to be a controller-centric game, I may as well commit to it. Who am I? Well, I'm supposed I'm going to be this handsome fella. Look at that! Oh, if only I could age like this, I'd be pretty happy. What are your pronouns? We'll go with he over here. What's my name? Uh, how do I set my name? Well, I'm hitting, I'm hitting the button. You want me to type? Oh, okay. You still want me to type. All right. My name is Quill. There we are. Cool. I'm thinking um, it was probably normally in the Xbox. You'd probably get that uh, keyboard pop up. Who is your partner? Casey Robin Maxime. Um, well, with the long hair, this looks a little bit more like Essentia. So we'll go with that one over here. All right. Uh, and she can be a she. Excellent. A little pixel art here. And edit start game. Start game. We'll do that. And it does look like, uh, based on the trailer, it looks like very voxel arty once we're into the game. So we'll see how that is. And yeah, again, I think it's got this, it's selling this very wholesome, cute Zen vibe. But I, I suspect there might be a twist. We might not see it in this video because it is, well, theoretically just going to be a one-time video. Or I don't know, maybe I'll fall in love with this game. But I mostly just want an excuse to, to, to try it because it looked so adorable. I'm like, I know, I'll make a video and that can justify grabbing this game. Although actually, I did grab it from the, um, the, the Game Pass. So it was quote unquote free. Okay, this load time is weird. It's only like a 3 gig game. Oh, it was probably generating all the voxel stuff. Hello, I guess... The, wow, this is a very tiny room. Uh, looks like maybe I'm in the... I might mean, be in the control room of our ship. Looks like that's a steering wheel over this way. We got fishing rods. It looks like I just have to hit the bottom button to exit. <laughs> Quill, come on, you guppy. Grab the line. See, Essentia calls me that all the time. <laughs> Uh, is her name Casey Fisher? Of course, of course, Fisher. Fishing is easier than it looks, I promise. What are you afraid of? Nothing, except for the water, the monsters, the curse. Oh, there's a curse. You know what the locals say. They're just stories, every one of them, I promise. Here, let me show you the basics. Follow along with me. First, stand in a decent fishing spot, like the edge of the boat, right here. Then select the fish and hook icon to begin. Okie dokie. All right. Is it? Oh, what is this one? Oh my god, I have a dog? <gasps> I can I can pet the dog. I'm petting the dog. Okay. Looks like I can't rotate the camera. Sorry, right, we'll stand at the edge. We'll do this. Now to cast the line. Fish will be more cautious if you cast near the boat or the shore. The further you cast, the more likely something will bite. Press and hold uh, A to cast your line. The longer you hold, the greater the distance. All right. I just held it down. It and I didn't even release it, it just seemed to go. Perfect, now be patient, keep the lure still, and wait for something to bite. The moment the lure dips, press and hold the right trigger to hook the fish. The quicker it might escape, once hooked, continue holding right trigger to reel it in. All right, I like fishing games. I like how you can see a little bit of seaweed underneath, you know, a little bit of the bottom, at least in the shallower areas. Oh. Now, is that just a bite or is it hooked? I might have to wait for more. It did jiggle, and I felt the vibration of the controller. There it is. Okay. Oh, it's a big one. Can I change the uh, the drag? Oh, fish will change direction as they try to break free. Move in the opposite the fish. Okay. I see. All right. 
Scott's trying to swim away. All right, so a bit of a mini game. I'm sure we won't be getting the pop-ups when it comes to the actual, you know, out of the tutorial. New species, grating bellyfish. 20 kilograms? Oh my god, that's like 45 pounds. Okay. Well, that's going to keep us fed for a month. See, easy when you get the hang, give it a go, this time without my help. All right. So click, I'm just holding the whole time. Yeah, that does seem to be a good way to get maximum cast distance. Jiggle, jiggle. There it is. Okay, it goes underneath the water. I can't see a particular direction the fish is moving in. There we go. Move opposite that way. Now that way. Now that. Might be doing the same pattern as the first time. I'm not sure. Just to kind of reinforce what it looks like without the icon. I think it was, actually. Pollock! 16 kilograms. We will keep... You have the option to release. I wonder if we have a maximum, like, live well si uh, size or, um, like, a fishing license might only cover so much. Fantastic. And different species. We'll need a variety to cook and sell for our new business. I like the... Whoop. Shaky, shaky water. Are we going to get toppled over by some, like, giant whale or something? Not with the dog. Oh, what is that behind us? What the hell is that? Wait, that's like a giant whale with, like, half a boat on top of it? Look at that! All NPCs! Arg! Just a whale. Yeah, whale with stuff, though. With an exoskeleton. Ugh, oh, this town's ridiculous superstitions. No wonder the fishing trade is ruined. Well, that means less competition, right? But the base full of amazing creatures all waiting to be discovered. We'll find them and share them with the world. Well, this sounds so mm -hmm. nice. On that note here, to celebrate our new adventure. A present, but I didn't get you anything. Hey, what happened to No More Surprises? Feels like a book. I'll open it tomorrow night, once you're back. Uh-huh. Yeah, this is not going to end well. You still want this, right? We could always go back to Ontario. Hey, I didn't realize our people are from Ontario. That's where I'm from. <laughs> of course, moving here. It's your dream. But I'm asking what you want. What's your dream? Mm -hmm. My dream hasn't changed in 40 years to spend every day with you. Aww! So sweet. Then I'll be right here the whole journey by your side. Welcome home. Something terrible is going to happen. I've seen enough, like, all media to know. All right. Oh, smooches. Aww. What's the dog's name? Do we get the name of the dog? We get to pet the dog, so that's already pretty good. That is a gorgeous little town in this bay. We've got the lighthouse. Moonglow Bay, right? I guess, you know, it's right It's right there on the tin. Oh, so pretty. All right, I'm liking the game already. Three, three years later? Oh, look at the bags under my eyes. I've not been sleeping well. Three years later? What happened? Wait, are my hands bandaged up? Maybe they're fingerless gloves or something. What? What? Aw, oh, poor little pupper. They don't give you a name soon, I'm gonna name you. I thought my character might have said something there about the, the, the dog's name. Alright, we got a knock on the door. Oh, what a cute little place! Got the window coming in, or the light coming in through the window, hold on. Alright, can I come back over here? No, can't interact with that. Okay. It's 9.30 in the morning on day one. Click to go down the stairs. Oh my god, is that just mail all over the place? Okay, so we got a back door. I can go back up the stairs. I'm betting I can't really interact with anything else right now. Okay. Who's there? Uh, a ghost! They can walk right through a door! Oh, it's River Fisher. Wait, okay. Was my name Quill Fisher? I guess we were married, right? For 40 years or whatever. We have a daughter, River Fisher. Hey, Dad. Oh. River, why aren't you in Quebec? Mm -hmm. I gave my notice. Some things are more important. What happened? I don't know if I want to know. Is this it? Mm. Presumption of the aforementioned believed to be dead owing to an absence of no less than three years. So my wife is just missing. Presumed dead. Probably at sea. 
Wow, it's also real. Oh my god, look at all the takeout containers. Probably reeks in here. It's great you're here, but I'm fine, honestly. Hmm. Actually, I got a new job. I'm overseeing the Centennial Festival. Oh. You're doing what? Here? In Moonglow? The mayor says it'll be a huge boost for the community. Oh. And people need the support. The whole bay's been struggling for years. Hmm. I like how they're doing the facial animations. When the fishing trade collapsed, half the town closed down. Hmm. We can't attract new visitors soon, or if we can't attract new visitors soon, Moonglow Bay might never recover. Anyway, on to brighter things. It's time you open that present. I knew it! He's pulling a Star-Lord. Wouldn't open it. Okay, well, where's the present? Here? Dusting it off. Oh, it's a book! Huh? A fishing journal? To my darling Quill, for the journey by your side. You've been holding on to this for three years, Dad. Maybe it's time to write a new chapter. Mm -hmm. You're saying I should restart the business? Oh. Precisely. A new street food stall. Whoa, whoa, wait, what? Wait, wait, what? Wait, it's a fishing, a fishing and a cooking game? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm so happy right now. Oh, it's too bad I can't share the joy with my dead freaking wife. What the hell? But yes, street food stall is exactly what this town needs. Every town just needs more of them. You would be an inspiration. We should head out right now, catch some ingredients. Okay, okay. But let me tidy first. If I'd known you were coming. And ruin the surprise? Eh, okay, I'll be down on the beach. Uh, task details. Okay, call her from Quebec. Meet River in the beach. Title up the noodle packets. Find Casey's gift. That present you gave me, where did I put it? Okay, this is already done. We checked the front door. We've done that. We need to tidy up the noodle packets, then meet River at the beach to finish a collar from Quebec. I can bumper through this. We've got some equipment, including... <laughs> wow, we've held on to these fish for three years. Man, uh, my character is really sentimental in this game. We got recipes, potatoes. Okay, well... Oh, 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 I'm so happy right now. Catches, give the species the marina. Okay, and then we got maybe map stuff. Oh, we can open the map over here. Uh, you okay, Dad? You look a bit lost. Yeah, I'm just looking for the, uh, you know, the place that sells the things. Huh. If you're looking for somewhere specific in town, just check out your map. Huh. Your map displays all shops, business, and points of interest. Just press... Okay, it's shortcutted to the other bouton. So I know I've got to get to the beach. I've got two objectives. One probably here to clean, one here at the beach. Sorry if there's some screen tearing. If I do any more videos of this, I'll turn on V-Sync. Okay, oh, and I can stamp, refocus, and just hit B to exit out. Okay. All right. Yeah, open journal. I've already done that. Garbage all the things. Garbage, garbage. Oh, cool. Change views. All right. Like, what's the dot, dot, dot for? How long has this garbage been here? Do we have to clean out old stuff from the fridge? I know I would have to. Anything else to tidy up? Oh, little papers and things on the ground. Okay, that's the last of it. Trash cans outside, since you clearly forgot Fisher. I guess I'm talking to myself. Okay, the dog. I'm going to pet the dog one more time. Your name is Petra. Petra the dog. Come on, old girl. we got to bring the trash out. Is that a raccoon? Wait, as I'm clearing the trash? That is, um, an enthusiastic raccoon. Is he following me around? Oh no, he's moving back. <gasps> Dear! Dope! Dope! Beat up old truck. I mean, maybe it works. I don't know. Can I catch the raccoon? Eee! Alright. So, we'll go down this way. Here's just wandering around in town. Can I read these signs? Abby scraps. Whatever floats your boat. They have, I was going to say, different times depending on the weather, but no, it's the same time, regardless of the weather. All right. Now, the time is ticking away in real time here. Oh. You were right. The streets are so empty. I barely noticed before. Yeah, and the beach is filthy. The town needs investment, pure and simple, but at least you have everything you need for your business. Your fishing rod, your kitchen, and a place to sell food. First things first, let's catch some ingredients. What am I going to do it from the shore? All right. Well, I know how to fish. Although there was another button I could have hit there. 
Wait for it. Oh, this part is exciting, isn't it? Wait for it. There. Cool, cool, cool. When reeling, you can use a quick burst of effort to haul the fish in a particular direction. Technique is called striking. To strike, move the controller against the direction of fish is swimming, then press left trigger. Don't strike too often, you'll tire yourself out. So the same, oh, wrong way. So the same as before, except throw in a little left trigger. I don't know if we'll get a stamina meter later on or something. Yeah, man, technically I started that. Oh, no, I'm tired. I see now. I mean, I'm sort of starting the strike before they fully move, but it's because it's not in sword pause state. Is that a, looks like a, maybe a mail carrier there? New species, a ling. Are these real fish? I've never heard of a ling. Yeah, I know it's act it's light on actual information. I'm an accountant, not a bloomin' marine biologist. Bloomin'? Really? Bloomin'? Alright. Huh. <laughs> I'm sure the aquarium can help fill in the details. Since we're here, let's recap water behavior and luring. Okay. <laughs> When reeling a fish, it will behave in one of three ways depending on its species. Fast species will dart around quickly to wriggle free. Reflexes are key. Aggressive species will use a combination of speed and strength to expand. Uh, finally, resilient species are slow moving but strong. It'll take several powerful strikes to haul one in. Fortunately, you can attract specific fish using lures. Give it a go. Select the lure and cast your line. So yeah, so it looks like the lings, they're agile and small with spinners, jigs for the grating belly fish. So I guess the up button here. The jig lure will attract a tr aggressive and resilient fish. The spinner will attract fast and aggressive. And the plug lure will attract resilient and fast. Okay. Remember to check which lure you're using whenever you cast. Should, should, should I switch? bit bigger. Yeah, we'll keep you. Can I start cooking it? Finally, uh, a word on bait. Okay, I guess you want me to hit this. Baiting your line is essential to catching larger species of fish. There are two types, low grade and high grade. If cast with no bait, you'll attack small species only. Cast with low grade, small and medium. Finally, cast with high grade, you'll track medium and large. Now try select the allure and bait grade and cast your line again. Okay. Oops. Oh, so I only have low. Having a hard time grabbing, but we'll do this. Cast, max distance. I guess if I don't cast max distance, I might not have to reel as far, but I would say it might not be as effective. Waiting for a direction change. Oh, that feels pretty small, this Pollock, but sure. I mean, <laughs> 10 kilos or whatever is still a huge fish. Uh, maybe there's just something about Moon Glow Bay. All right, excellent. Remember, there's a huge range of sea creatures out there, so mix up your lure bait and location to catch a variety. Just be aware your bait is limited. Be careful you don't run out. Until the sea market reopens, high-grade bait in particular will be in short supply. Hey! Oh, hi, Abby. Oh, she's the one who runs the scraps shop? I guess she's the carpenter? Boat fixer? I know there's probably a boat right? It's probably a name for that. Whoa, stop the press! Quill Fisher's out of the house before midday! Listen, I've been dealing with depression, okay? Mm. Don't judge me. Hey, Abby, you remember River? Yay. Of course! What brings you to our shabby little burg? Wait, Quill, is that? You finally opened it? Oh. It's a fishing journal. Casey and I had a thing for these waters once. Oh. In fact, I'm reviving the business, selling street food straight from the ocean. Quill, are you gonna? Hee <laughs> hee, ha ha! Uh. Nice, thanks, Abby. <laughs> sorry, sorry, but in three years, you never once struck me as outdoorsy. Maybe it's time for a change. <laughs> in that case, Captain Noodles. Ooh, Captain Noodles. If you're gonna pedal Piscine Coisine. Well, no, I was gonna sell fish, but I mean, if you know, if that's what gets people going, sure. <clears throat> I think it's more like Piscine. Piscine Cuisine. From the most cursed cove in Canada, I insist you learn how to cook. Follow me. Wow, did I ever like, I feel like I accidentally grabbed the, uh, the right tone of voice for this character. She's obviously very, um, let's say upbeat. 
Okay, Quill, if you're selling street food, your kitchen is going to be your new best friend. To create a meal, you need three things. Raw fish, the recipe, and enough shells to cover the cost of any extra ingredients. I guess shells is our currency here? Sure. <laughs> Uh, collected recipes will appear in your journal. When you step into a kitchen, you can browse and choose which meals you want to make. So, okay. So this is locked. Locked. Whoops. All right. I guess I should use the stick. I, I always default to trying to use the D-pad um, in like menus and things like that. But the D-pad on this particular controller is really twitchy. Looks like the analog stick is still the way to go. Okay. So it looks like we have two recipes we have access to. The fish and chips, which is a plus 43% for whatever that means. Is that profit? Costs us 10 to make. And we sell for 28. Oh, because I don't have potatoes. I would have to buy potatoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas for the fish cakes, I have all the ingredients. So there's zero cost because all it needs is fish. Chopped seafood fried with flour and egg. I guess the flour and egg doesn't count as an ingredient. So, I don't know. So I have to click on you. Now we'll use a Pollock. Batch cook, zero four. I don't know, let's make one. Oh. Your kitchen is always stocked with supplies. So only the ingredients you need to, the only ingredients you need to source are the fish. All right, fish cakes, get fish, wash, chop, boil, fry, bake. Oh my God. It is like a cooking simulator. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy right now. Okay, first go to the fish, collect the necessary ingredients. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh huh. Now move to the different stations around the kitchen and follow the instructions one by one. And be precise. Mistakes will lower the quality of your meal and its sale value. So wash. Ooh. Washing. Move the, the control stick to follow the marker and rinse the ingredients. Oh, oh, I'm controlling the yellow part inside the blue part. Come on. Oh my god. Nope. Whoa! There. Done. Now chop. Okay. Oh, probably in the blue. When the markers in each zone to chop. Okay, which I just did, I thought. Oh, I paused. Tap, tap, tap. Uh, now we have to boil. Moving the stick to keep the water at correct temperature. Oh, okay, hold on. It, the orientation of things change on the opposite side. Some, something's changing there. Figure it out. Hold and then release when the marker reaches the hit zone. Bake. I mean, that's right. You fry it, give it nice color, you know, get crispiness on the skin, then bake it to actually finish it. Sure. Press when the marker reaches the hit zone. Okay. Great. There are other stations on the kitchen, but you'll figure them out. To make a three-star fish cake? Leave cook. Just to cook something else? Okay, let me back out. <laughs> Finally, always remember to put your cooked meals out for sale. The storage box in your front yard will have to do for now. I guess I don't actually have the, um, a proper food stand yet? I wonder if I'll ever be able to cook like roadside. What bin? The trash bin? Oh, this bin! Oh, is this is where I'm going to be selling, right over here. I guess there's even a little sign over my house. All right. Looks like I can also put just the raw fish in there as well. But yeah, my, minus 27% must be the price of the day. <laughs> Perfect. Here, you can sell the fish you catch and the meals you cook. Fish and meals will gradually sell through it the day, and the shells you earn will be transferred directly to your account. Hmm, this old box isn't very appealing. You should upgrade to a proper machine. I agree. Haru Goto runs the tech shop. He'll give you a good deal. Oh. Speaking of new people, if you're exploring the waves, you'll need to recover your trawler. Chat to Sarah at the boat shop. So that's probably my sunk boat that my wife was disappeared on. Mm. Finally, for information about fish species and filling your journal, speak to Marina, as it's appropriate, at the aquarium. Quill, you're really serious about this? No one's been out of these waters for... Three years since Casey. I know. Oh, man, PTSD is gonna be real. There are dozens, hundreds of strange and dangerous creatures out there, and we both know what it's like to lose someone. It's okay, trust me. So, Sarah, Haru, and Marina, I'll see you soon. Oh my god, this game is so cute and so depressing all at the same time. Okay, so you can toggle the tracking because that'll probably tweak the 
uh, map display. Oh, that way for that, okay. And then back here, for, I want to access the map. Well, it might be worth, although I can open the map. Hang on, if I sit here, um, close out of the screen, I think the other button, yeah, there you go, can access the map. Uh, there is something for me, how come I can't move around? That's weird. So, just walk down Main Street, and I'll hit everything. Go away, raccoon. So that's Abby again. Can I, I can still interact? Mm -hmm. You're wearing your indecisive face. Have you managed to sort out? Not yet, but getting there. Uh -huh. I need you to get something to show me when I'm done. Alrighty. I'm hoping it'll be kind of obvious when I get there. Oh yeah, okay, so we got a ways to go still. Hello. Oops. Gertrude Crisps. Hello, darling! So you're investing unu investigating unusual fish. You must seek out Old Bale, the notorious balloon-like beast that upsets children. What is this? Like, it's like a Pokemon. It does? Why is it frightening? Oh no, dear! It's adorable! They're sad when it floats away. Alright. Fish update. Hello. Hey, sorry, can't talk. Just in the middle of something. All right, I'm going to forget what voice I use for you later on. Ah, Mr. Fisher, a very good day to you. Ahem, if you came looking for amusing nautical tales, I have none. So, stop fishing. Hello. Oh, hello. You must be the owner of that delightful yellow pup. Yeah, waffle. No, it's Petra. All right, fine. Well, hold on. Wait, waffles? Like Belgian waffles? Did we accidentally a dog? Amazing. He's a Nova Scotia duck trolling retriever. He likes chasing birds, barking at the front door, and rubs. Mm. I'm Quill, by the way. I run a small street food business. In fact, I'm looking for new customers, if there's anything you'd like to try. Absolutely, but nothing too rich or spicy. How about steamed fish, just like they make in Malaysia? Thank you very much. All right. Oh, wait. What is this? Items? Oh, because I can give you... If I make steamed fish, I can... Hang on. Is this a present on the ground? Just a... Maybe it's just a shell. Hello, if you're interested in weird fish, check out the zebras. Unmistakable, looks like a zebra, same stripe, same fin, same fins as a zebra. I know, weird, right? So it does fill it in. Give this piece of, yeah, all right. So it gives you a hint. If you want to look for the zebras, you look, you fish in a shallow stream. Go to tech, real-time solution. Uh-huh. But is that where I'm going? Is it the wrong time? No, we're good. Oh, there we go. I accidentally leave the door. I wonder if I can turn the camera around now. Um, ah, he hello, long time no see. What can I help you with? Selling fish. Mm -hmm. Yes, fish. Why are we whispering? Uh, it's been so long since anyone's at Sail the Bay. What are you currently using? Not much. My storefront is basically a storage box and an honor system. <laughs> right. Yeah, so there's probably a bucket for people to put the money in. Oh, that's just sad. What you need is a windowed polyvend. There you go. That's that. A vending machine for seafood? Absolutely. My dad ordered a few on special import. But with half the town shut down, our three st three units in stock are proving tricky to shift. Tell you what, cook up and bring me a sample of fish and chips. Maybe I can swing a new customer discount on display model. Hmm? Sounds more like a cooking you lunch discount. But okay, yeah, whatever. One One plate of food in exchange for a vending machine? Sounds like a great deal. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I can totally rotate. All right. Wait, there's more people back here. And a big statue? Neat. Anything in these boxes? Feels like it, like, as, you know, a Zelda RPG here. I gotta go and, like, blow up the boxes. Any, any, any pots around? Uh, hello, Miss Quill Fisher. Your street food is the talk of the town. Yeah, business seems to be on a steady rise. Perhaps I could interest you in something? My treat. What's your favorite? Oh, I haven't had tuna sashimi in a long time. Ooh, that sounds good. Say no more. Next time we meet, I'll change that. Mm. Hello, Mrs. Goto. Oh, I run a small business, gauging interest in different recipes. You seem to know a lot of people. What are you applying? <clears throat> Nothing. Just that you know everyone in town. Nothing untowards. Mm, I don't usually care for seafood, but perhaps I could sample your surf and turf. Sure, no problem. Happy to oblige. Okay. So we got lots of things to give. That'll probably like make them permanent customers or something like that and increase the amount of money I can make long term. Ah, the new angler. Pro tip. Keep them peeled for the Tempest Sun. Catch one, I'll grant you several years, seven years of good luck. Did you catch one? Yeah, but then I broke a mirror. Canceled out. Okay. Hey. How you doing? Heard you're on the lookout for unusual species. Then mind yourself. The Blister Back Boxer. Disgusting creature. Communicates by expelling gas from its you-know-where. Wouldn't want to be stuck in an elevator with one. Or fish tank. 
All right. So yeah, so these things just keep revealing themselves. Thermal geysers. Wow. Yeah, I assume we're going to be cleaning up the trash here at some point. Or it'll just clean up over time. I have nine shells. Oh, yeah, so my sail worked. Oh, okay, so I should cross over here. Hey, Quill, um... Fisher. And hello to you, Sarah... Johnson. Been a while, huh? Finally come to collect your trawler? Exactly, the two cat, Two cats? Oh. Seriously, I thought I was making a joke. Clearly not a very funny one. In that case, let me find your paperwork. The two cats. Yes, clogged fuel pump and intake valve is shot. For three years storage, you got off easy. It'll be a hundred shells for the repairs. You can pay once I finish the work. Hundred shells, are you sure? That seems low. Yeah, don't worry. It's the least for Casey. Oh, God damn it. Every time the, the name gets mentioned, my heart sort of aches a little bit. Just give me a little time to finish up. I'll be in touch once repairs are complete. And I get shoved out of the building. Are you... Yeah. Well, solve a mystery. Why did you call the boat the two cats? Haha, <laughs> it was just a joke between me and Cassie. The first time we went sailing, we thought we were the coolest cats on the waves. Ah, Casey, you must have learned so much from him. Casey was a him? Alright. What's funny is that, in real life, I have a good friend named Casey. Male friend, but I thought that was a female character over there. Wait, so much from him. Did I not choose her as a pronoun as well? Maybe, maybe this, um, maybe this, um, uh, dialogue box is broken. Or something like that. Maybe there's just something wrong that it's not using. Or I re-entered things wrong. All right, my husband Casey, apparently. I don't know. Um, but didn't Robin refer to Casey as, as mom and her? I'm wondering if this dialogue is just incorrect. Uh, must have learned so much. She was one of the best anglers yeah. I've ever seen. Really cared about the long-term health and conservation of the bay. Yeah, we both did. Sustainable fishing will always be a cornerstone of the business. On that note, is there anything I can fix you for lunch? It's on me. Shall I take your finest fish burger, please? Responsibly sourced. Okay. So it seems like it is worth talking to everyone. Strange <laughs> fish and stranger catch. Because, I mean, it'll queue up, like, gift jobs that we want to do. Aww. And then also, yeah, the ocean. Um, Pre-fill a little bit of our journal. Oh, look at this place. Hello, Marina. Peck Soto. Welcome, apologies. The aquarium isn't open for visitors. Oh, I'm not a tourist. I'm looking for Marina. At your service. Wait, I think I've already used his voice, but wait, Quill, right? Casey's husband? Casey was a soul this place. The only sailor unfazed by all the legends. Someone truly recognized the potential of both the aquarium and moon world. Potential? For what? To be famous! There are countless species out there unique to these waters. Just a handful would make the aquarium a huge tourist attraction. A little investment, we could study the whole aquatic biome. Turn this archaic town of myths and monsters into a hub of things. But I clicked too early. But when Casey vanished, those dreams vanished too. Dot dot dot. How can I help? I'm fishing for my seafood business anyway. I could continue where Casey left off. Wow, that would be incredible, but it's a huge undertaking. Quite simply, the aquarium needs new species, as many as you can find. The more unique creatures we house, the more visitors will attract. Business across town would benefit, including yours. Every new species you bring will boost your sales. Great, where do I start? To begin, just bring me three new species. Any three you can. Well. Yeah. I might have some. Huh? Come and let's help you out, because the cursed sailors won't dare go out. You can fish from the pier, but hopeless mariner. You don't need to point out the irony. Don't need fish. Yeah, I have three fish on me. Am I going to get money from, from giving them away as well? Because, I mean, I sort of need to kickstart my economy, but I guess I can just go fishing. There you go. Three different fish. Fantastic. This place is finally coming alive. Oh, yeah, and I can see them in uh, the aquariums. I can see two of them anyway. I assume they're new. Right in the middle? Oh, actually, and one of them has two fish in it. Two big fish, right? Riding these little guys. Uh, coming alive, can't wait to tell Olivia at this rate, I'll need to buy a whole new wing. Mm. So there's only beginning, right? You'll need more? Absolutely, lots more. This is an ongoing enterprise. Remember, you're helping the whole community. Every new fish will increase the sale price of the meals in your vending machine. Uh, I mean, what vending machine? Spoiler alert. Anyway. Uh, plus, as a personal thank you, I'll provide all the information I can for your yeah. journal, facts, fishing tips, any interesting folklore I come across. Moon Glow Bay has been plagued by myths and mysteries for decades, but with your help, we'll turn this ailing town into a beacon of progress. Just remember, when you catch a new species, bring it straight here. What does this button do? Oh, okay, this is how I can more quickly submit. Can I talk about anything else I can do? No, okay, you don't want food. Permits, mm -hmm. biomes, fix your lunch. Yeah, grilled octopus. It's like, oh, I love I love fish and preserving fish, and I want to highlight fish, and also I will eat some. Neat. Anything back here with this exit? Oh, no, it's cordoned off. But maybe there will be another wing that opens up there later. 
I do have 44 shells. So I guess I did get some money for something. I wonder if there might be someone back here. Audre Hipburn. Ah, fish journal keeper. I have a history for you. The flock fish. What does it want? Where does it come from? What does it look like? That's a great question. Nobody knows. Completely covered in wool. What kind of freaky ass fish do they have around this place? Listen, this is just supposed to be a, a one episode. Let's try here. Oh, that's probably my ship here. Is that the two cats? Probably. Um, yeah, but I kind of want to play some more. So there's going to be at least one more episode after this. Who knows? Maybe there'll be 20 episodes. I'm not sure if I can commit to another big game right now, but I really want to keep playing this one. Folks, thanks a lot for watching. If you are new to the channel, of course, subscribe makes a big difference. Like, comment, favorite, all those things. And uh, I'll, I'll catch you on the water next time. Bye-bye.